I'll show you how layer soloing works in Affinity Photo. It involves isolating and viewing an individual layer's contents, rather than rendering and displaying the entire layer stack. Quite a common use for this is compositing workflows. With my example here, I've got this lens flare layer, providing a subtle glare effect on the composition. I may want to examine it individually. So I can option click on Mac, alt click on Windows, on the layer thumbnail, to enter solo mode. Now we are previewing just this layer. If the layer contains alpha transparency, or the opacity is less than 100%, you will also see the alpha checkerboard background pattern. To exit solo mode, you can click onto any other layer in the layer stack. Alternatively, you can hold the same modifier. So that's Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the layer thumbnail again to exit solo mode. A practical use case for this might be if we were trying to modify this lens flare layer tonally. Let's say I add a white balance adjustment, then I child layer this layer into the lens flare layer by click dragging and releasing the mouse button over the lens flare layer text. I can now solo the lens flare layer, and because the white balance adjustment is now a child layer, I can click on its thumbnail to bring the adjustment dialog up without leaving solo mode. This allows me to tonally modify the lens flare and see the result on its own before coming out of solo mode to see the whole composition. You can also solo groups. Here, I've got a group named Crows where I've grouped together several placed images and several adjustment and filter layers. I can solo the crows group, and I'll just zoom in to the three images here. Now that I've soloed the parent group, I can select any of the layers within the group and stay in solo mode. For example, I can click on the motion blur thumbnail and click drag on the document view to modify the motion blur. I could also select one of the crow images, switch to the move tool, and perhaps reposition, scale, and rotate it. I can even solo one of the individual crow images if required. Now I can exit solo mode by simply clicking on the parent crow group without using the option or alt modifier. Masks can also be soloed, which allows you to view them as a grayscale representation. Down here, I have some composite layers, such as the prehistoric garden image that I'm using for the foreground detail. I can actually access the mask here without having to expand the parent layer. So I'll use my Option or Alt modifier and click on the mask thumbnail to solo it. We can see from this mask that I've used a soft brush and just revealed the image gradually on the bottom half of the composition. It looks like I haven't quite filled in this area properly with pure white, so I can quickly select the paintbrush tool using B on the keyboard, adjust my width and hardness, set my active colour to white, and then paint into this area. Now, don't forget that I currently have the mask layer selected and not the parent image layer that is being masked. Therefore, to exit solo mode, I would have to use Option or Alt and click on the Mask thumbnail again, not the thumbnail to the left of it. Clicking here will solo the actual layer contents, and you can see the effect the mask is having. By the way, because Adjustment and Live Filter layers have their own masks, you can also solo them and see a grayscale representation. The mask thumbnail is not actually shown by default if an adjustment is added and is currently applying to the whole document bounds. If I select the paintbrush tool again with the curves layer selected, set my color to black, then paint into the sky to remove the adjustment effect from this area, when I let go of the mouse button, the mask thumbnail will now appear next to the main adjustment thumbnail. I can Option or Alt click on this to solo the adjustment mask, then refine it if required. This time I'll click on a different layer to exit solo mode. So there we go. That was a look at how layer soloing works in Affinity Photo. I hope you found this video useful 
and thank you for watching.